Okay, I'm recording. Let me I get into. Let me get, okay, let me let me get into because I'm recording at home. I've got to get into like mobile recording position where I don't make any noise but can still access my laptop. Oh yeah, shit! Got okay. my fan on. Fucking thank you for noticing that. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Playing Favorites podcast, in which I and my good friend Harry discuss our favorites in a variety of different topics. My favorite color is rust. My favorite animal is a kangaroo, and my favorite co-host is <laughs> what. <laughs> So Why are you laughing like, already? You, you always do it like you're a circus ringmaster. I know literally <laughs> yeah, every hello. episode. Yeah, I know literally episode, every episode of Playing Fair it starts with like chastising you for the for the intro. But that one, I couldn't quite hold it. Let me stop making you do it. Oh my god. Maybe we should swap roles. I swear that like episode two, we do swap roles. And like, uh, or like, you still do the intro, but then also you do the outro. There's no way, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. It's insane. But hey, everyone, yeah, uh, Luke's favorite, Luke's favorite co-host is thinking about the difference bet- between a, between a transition metal and a, and a, and a, and a lanthanide. Like, what, what? What does it all mean? We don't. We don't know. Immedi- What's the deal with-, <laughs> with transition metals? Immediately, I feel like just a whole bunch of people were put off from this episode. Don't worry. Don't panic, listener. It's not going to be a science. We're one. not chemists. We don't know what we're on about either. It's okay. You're in safe hands. We're going to mainly probably talk about like, isn't that wacky? Why is gold got? Uh, the period is the AU, huh? Yeah. It's, that's weird, ain't it? Is that like Latin or something? But obviously, we all know, yeah, because it comes from auric, of course. Oh, uh, okay. Gold in Latin. I didn't um, know that. What as it? as we all know, um, Pl- plumbum, plumbum, plumbum. It's not that thing from The Sims. No, that's uh, a. <laughs> what the hell is plumbum? It's um, it 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 it's uh, oh, it's lead. Lead, yeah, PB. Like it's come, it comes from plumbum. It does come from plumbum. Thank God I got it that right. It comes from plumbum. The chemical symbol for lead. That's a real thing. Is PB, which comes from the Latin word plumbum, meaning waterworks. Plumbum what? equals waterworks. You definitely do not want lead in your waterworks. Yeah, we'll put lead in your. But then you'll become immune to electromagnetism. Mm. I don't think that's how it works. Well, lead's used to make Faraday cages, which block out like. I signals. know lead is also used to make you know people die. <laughs> Good point. I do wonder about like why like a, a whole bunch of these elements. Like I am looking, I'm on ptable.com, um, ptable, which is is a great website. It's a very funny URL. Um, is it just p or is it the letter p table.com? It's a really great interactive ptable.com. Um, oh, this is lovely. I love this. Yeah, and like, but I, I look at all of these elements, and I'm just sort of it, it, the, the periodic table is trivial. Like it's full of trivia. Like like lead, like you know, it that like blocks shit and kills people. And you know, f- fucking oxygen. That's the one we, that we use. And like bromine and mercury are liquids at room temperature. And like it's just full of just little nuggets of 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 knowledge. There are a lot of these I've literally never heard of. Yeah, and then a whole Wait, bunch. Are, of them. are some of these even real? What do you mean? Hold on, I've not. What the fuck are these? Did they, are these new? <laughs> they do. There were a few years ago. They added um... might nerium dam. Dam? Dom? Uh, oh, Dam? Dam Stadium, yeah. Dom so, sta- Stadium? The most recent ones I remember hearing about getting out at the time were, were Florovium, Moscovium, uh, Livermorium, Tennessine, Tennessine and uh, Organesson. They were discovered like in 2017, something like that. And they got well, added. they studied after I started. I studied chemistry. I think so. Yes. Well, yeah, it December a- 2015. That was six oh, okay. years ago. Yeah, okay. So that, so yeah, they are new. And I would have been, I would have been seventeen. That's after I studied chemistry. <laughs> These do not exist. These are not real. Can you imagine if like you were, you were in a chemistry lesson and like the the, the you know someone run, burst through the door? We've got new ones on the table. Quick! Everyone's like, oh, <laughs> they got n- new books. Yeah. <laughs> all the, just like one extra page added. They start collecting in all your textbooks, and it's like, right, light the bonfire, get these going, and stop, <laughs> yeah, throw the books out the window onto a big fire. Yeah, I mean, that, that's too fair. That's what happened in uh, I, I did government and politics A level, and like there was a snap general election called, and it was like fucking madness. We're on the bus to a trip in London, and the, the politics teacher was like, "Snap elections just been called." It's like, whoa, we don't need any more, right? Like. We've got enough. I don't really know... Look, we're both morons. I don't really know... I I think more like (laughs) borons. That was dumb. (laughs) 
<laughs> is that really the, uh, the is that really what we're working with this episode? Um, because like you know i did gcse chemistry that's the furthest i know um same yes i remember i, I, did. I remember atomic mass and 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 pro- proton number one of the numbers is the how much electrons they have no one of the numbers is how many particles they have right. one of them is how many of those are protons right. so like oxygen has an atomic mass of 16 and the proton number of eight and so from that you can figure out because the electrons don't really weigh anything, so you can figure out that eight of those are protons and eight of those are neutrons, and then and then they have the same unless it's an isotope they have the same number of electrons than protons because that makes it yeah so that bounces and then they're no charge yeah so oxygen has eight protons eight neutrons and eight electrons um, okay immediately <laughs> hold on wait how does how does this chemistry joke what? go uh, uh, something walks into a bar. Yeah. And orders a drink. An electron. The bartender says, uh, uh, they ask how much it is, and the bartender says no charge. Yeah, yeah, okay. An electron is the word you're looking for, because they're the one. No, neutron! No, Neutrons. electron's negative. Yeah. Neutron. They're, they're, neutron. They're neutral. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck you. I feel like we're... There's like a thousand jokes that exist that are all chemical thing walks into bar. Yeah, I mean, and I, like, to be fair, I would make a lot of them, but, but most of the good ones are gone. So, yeah, there's... <laughs> There are a lot of chemistry. Ah, jokes that joke was uh, very boring. <laughs> <laughs> You're a big, big fan of boron today, Luke. All of my jokes, all of mine are going to be boron related. I feel like I, yeah, I'm going for a real boron humor uh, spike. And your your jokes really are my kryptonite. I do actually have a good chemistry joke though. Do you? Do you want to tell it on yeah. the podcast now? No, I want to keep. But it you're going to save it to the end. <laughs> Keep, so, get, take it to hold it, no, no, no. I'll, I'll no, no, no. Hold on to it until you know. After I do the outro, and then usually I'll say to you something like, "Yeah, any final thoughts I, on?" Okay, just just yeah. hold on to it and see if you remember an hour from now. I'll, I'll remember. Yeah. I know the joke. It's, it, it's in my mind permanently. Do you think they'll ever change the chemical symbols? Well, I don't really know. Like, probably not. But I do enjoy um, chemical symbols. Wow, that's the lamest thing I've ever said. Because a lot of them are like what you'd expect, you know, nitrogen is N, oxygen's O, and then some of them, yeah, like titanium is TI, and then some of them it's like, all right, tin is SN. Calm down. Why? Yeah, like why? Is, granted, uh, titanium is TI, so tin can't really have that. Um, well, they could be TN. TN is there a TN? Uh, scanning, having a quick look. I'm seeing TH. I'm seeing TM. I'm seeing TB. Tuberculosis. That's no, terbium. TN. No TN. So why isn't tin? Fucking TN. TN. Like, what are we doing? Silver. Silver's AG. Could be, like, it could be SV. Yeah, that, that one would work. But uh, silver, I know, because um, using sulfur, tungsten, and silver, you can make swag. This is a game we used to do in um, in chemistry. It's like, what's the longest word you can make? And I've actually Googled it, Luke. What, okay, what right now, what is the, what's the longest word you can see oh, that you can make? <laughs> you should have known this was coming. You could probably... You could probably make like necessary. Okay, it is, it is a the longest one is a word that starts with N. To be fair, uh, it depends. Well, it depends on it, if you can use repeats as well. No, with no. So with repeats, the longest you can make is non-representationalisms, which is fucking okay, insane. Without repeats. Yeah, and then without repeats is irresponsibilities, iridium, okay. and then whatever re is. You do yes. not need to tell me all of them. Okay, good, good that point. would take half the podcast time just listing letters. That would be bad, yeah. But there's yeah, there's all kinds of things I don't fucking understand about this. The symbols being one of them. Um, and the chemicals being the other. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand most things about this table, if I'm being honest. Especially because ptable.com is like, you know, which is what I'm looking at right now. This is this is for the serious people. Like, this is for the fucking... Yeah, this has like... Yeah, you know, all kinds of info. It's Information on it. If I'm also a palladium. Like it tells me, yeah, it's 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 weight in U's, whatever the unit U is. Oh my god, look at its melting point. Melting point is at like yeah, fifteen hundred degrees Celsius. <laughs> That's so hot. Yeah, um, it's got its radius. Its ionization is apparently eight hundred and four point four kilojoules per mole. Hardness modulus. You know what actually is fucking me up the most about all this? What? I used to know this. Like this is all stuff that at one point. I did not all of it. Yeah, like I didn't know, like you know the the modulus bulk. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> um, 
But, like, you know, we had to study the, like, ionization of these fucking chemicals. Yeah, true. And came up on exams and stuff. Which is pretty well. I imagine that's a similar experience for, for a lot of people. Like, I, as I was saying it, the whole, like, you know, atomic mass, proton number stuff, that was all coming back to me. But then, yeah, like, I mentioned fucking isotopes. Um, and uh, or, yeah. or like uh, ions and, and shit like that a moment ago. Like I don't know what an isotope is. Isotopes, I think, are when there's a wrong number of. It's the, yeah neutrons it's or something. The, yeah. I hope we don't have any chemists listening to uranium, this. Uranium, the uranium two. God, I should have my, my uni housemates on. Why are they chemists? Two of my uni housemates are chemists. Oh no, that would been. Well, I say that would be perfect. That it would turn this lesson into it, this episode. It would turn this episode into a science lesson. Um, yeah, like it would just be a chemistry lesson. Yeah, um, but like, I, I sus- which which is better, that or us two morons speculating on GCSE chemistry, not knowing. Yeah, w- yeah, not knowing why lead is called plumbum. Well, we do know because it's Latin for waterworks. You see? Yeah, I know, but like, why don't they just change it? Yeah, that that I'm unsure. Um, I have to assume. You know. Well, because well, the naming process, I know, is like, um, it comes from it's like it's like a big deal naming elements. Like so, it is now. Yeah. yeah often, often it will be a case of like, you know, oh, it was discovered by, um, you know, scientists in Russia <laughs> and California. <laughs> yeah, Jonathan Plumbum. Um, and, and sometimes you know they'll dedicate it to a particular scientist or the location. So, for example, Tennessee had a you know a lab set up in in Tennessee. Mm-hmm. Etc. Etc. Moscovium, similar thing. Or well, and then, but then you get like ridiculous ones, like you know, very famous uh, chemist, I think um, Rutherford, and so you've got R- Rutherfordium, which sounds mm-hmm. it sounds like a joke. It sounds ridiculous, like you know, you just yeah. eat, stick eat Einst- them. Einsteinium. Einsteinium, yeah, Californium. Euro- Europium is a good one. That sounds cool. Europium sounds awesome. Yeah. What's the, the there's that one place that has like three chemicals named after them or three elements named after them. I keep saying chemicals. Yeah. Is it yitterbe? It is. Oh, okay. Yitterbe. Yeah. Yitterbe. Well, yit yit so you, yitterbeum is uh, there's yeah, there's three chemicals. It's yttrium. Yeah. Yitterbeum. Uh, terbium. Hmm. And erbium. <laughs> well, I'm seeing I'm seeing fucking yitterbeum. <laughs> Oh, and y- and so There's four. Sorry. There's four of them. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Wait, what's the place called? Y- Yitterby. Yitterby, a village uh, in Sweden. There's a mine, so maybe. Oh, like, maybe that's where you, you know. find it. Is in Yitterby. Yeah. Um, when was the last? One? Six mile per hour wind there right now. In case anyone was wondering. They were all found like a long time ago. Yeah, I mean that's the, like we um, kind of the periodic table. I feel like its growth or like in size is kind of it kind it's of definitely drops slowed. off. Yeah. <laughs> Um, saying that, I don't think we're finding that many. Like we've got ones that we just fucking make up. Like a lot of these, or I'm pretty sure, like they're theoretical. Well, I think only um, this is one where, like, yeah, chemists. This is gonna be painful. Please never use playing favorites as a source for your science. This one's for all the chemists out there. So, like, a bunch of these elements just exist for like a fraction of a second during some kind of reaction. Yeah, I believe they get really temporarily synthesized. Yeah, and then, uh... and then there's one of them in the bottom left hand corner there. Francium, which I'm pretty sure we just kind of like, like it's so unstable that it reacts with just oxygen, and yeah, so air. so none of it exists because like it it would always it would just it is extremely radioactive. Yeah, so it just reacts into something else, like you know, straight away as soon as it exists or or had existed or if any of it ever existed on Earth, it would have immediately turned into something. Oh, else. it's the second rarest naturally occurring element, francium. Bulk francium has never been viewed. <laughs> never been viewed. That's a uh, yeah. It's never been viewed. <laughs> like we can just we can feel it. Um, I'm, I'm getting. But... Okay, we we know it. We know it should exist. Yeah. Okay. Ah, and, and actually saying that. So yeah, I'm slightly unsurprisingly, I'm slightly wrong when it comes when talking about the specifics of chemistry. Um, That's okay. We we'll, we all get there. Eventually. There are 34 known isotopes of francium. So with different, yeah, isotopes having different atomic mass. Um, francium 223 and francium 221 are the only isotopes that occur in nature. So we we found isotopes of it, but then like pure francium. Uh, okay. I guess we just we're like uh, I don't know, like we just just don't get it. <laughs> It just doesn't, doesn't exist. Never seen it in bulk. I'm getting a lot of. By the way, shout out to um, Simple English Wikipedia. I'm getting a lot of usage out of you today. Oh, gee, oh my god! Um, I'm on, yeah, that's a life saver. Yeah, I went to the page for Francium. It's like it's, it's fucking too much. Um, and then just yeah, 
<laughs> so many words. Simple English is yeah. So if, which uh, yeah, yeah, play favorite is true fact of the day. Um, you know when you go to a Wikipedia URL, it says en.wikipedia.org slash or you know whatever your language. Change that en or whatever language to the word simple, and it'll give you in simple English. Um, if it exists. If how do you how do you feel about noble gases? <laughs> oh, Luke, don't get me started. Don't get me started <laughs> on noble gases. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I I don't um I don't have, I don't have much of an opinion. Yeah, yeah, he's strong. Feeling. Not not particularly. I mean, I w- let's run down. The... I mean, that if if anything, that's almost appropriate, right? Because because that's kind of the thing. That's they're, they're pretty fucking boring, they're, aren't they're... they? <laughs> they're pretty boron, you say? <laughs> um, no. Sorry, yeah. Boron's a me- metalloid. Ex- excuse me, metalloid. What a fucking phrase. Um, yeah, n- no, noble gases. So they're the ones that are like. Uh, it's this. They don't react. It's them and reactive non-metals that are gases, like by default, right? At room temperature. Not all reactive non-metals. Hashtag not all. Oh yeah, yeah. Some of them, yeah. Phosphorus, Car- carbon, sulfur. phosphorus. Yeah, good point. Bromine. Um, yeah, no. I am. Um, I think they're fine. Some of them have. They all have. They've got a good collection of cool names. So like Krypton is one of them, which is you know. Yeah, Kry- Krypton obviously a very cool name. Yeah, um, um, xenon. Xenon, yeah. This way, it's uh, neon. Yeah, ne- neon's one of them. Radon. They sound fucking sick. Helium's kind of letting the side down uh, a little bit. But then helium's very cool anyway, because... Why do we have... You don't know the answer to this, so Go I don't on. know why I'm going to ask no, it. Let's, let's speculate. Let's wildly speculate like, and piss off all the chemists. <laughs> you know how, like... Okay, so... Krypton, neon, yeah. argon, yeah. xenon, radon. Yeah. All end in on. Yes. And they're all noble gases. Correct. But then there's... Helium, which is also a noble gas, yeah, does not end in on. Yeah, boron, which is also not a noble gas, yeah. and ends in on. And hydrogen, hydrogen, <laughs> hydrogen. Hi. I think he was a '60s Spider-Man villain. Th- this episode goes out to Drojon. <laughs> I'm, thinking of, I'm thinking of hydrogen, like he's John, who's a water mancer or something. You can, like, you know, Ben, he controls... Oh, Hydro, hydro John. Hydro John. Yeah, he, like, controls... He's a waterbender. He can, like, yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought you were saying hi... Hi to Drodon. Drojon. Drojon out there. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Absolutely terrible. Anyway, yeah. Um, so, I forgot the simple English Wiki- uh, Wikipedia page for helium. Uh, it was discovered by a French mm-hmm. astronomer um, on August 18th, 1868... English Lockyer and Eng- so name. English chemist uh, Edward Franklin named the element helium from the Greek word for the sun, helios. Yeah, because uh, oh. the sun fuses hydrogen atoms into helium. That actually makes so How much did sense. They know that? What do you mean? How did they know that? Like, what in eighteen hundreds? This? this is eighteen sixty-eight. How did they know that? Um. I can't believe it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not, I'm really not doubting good, it. That's a really good point. But how did they know that? Um. But yeah, um, it, do you think so people just... have got stupider over the years? <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, now that stopped... we have we have all this no. technology, we can rely on that does half this shit for us. We've just stopped. These people in the 1800s were like, you know what? Yeah, the helium sun. made by the sun. I I can prove it. No, I think it was just back then there was a lot of low hanging fruit. It was just kind of like you know. <laughs> Yeah, this fucking... doesn't feel like low hanging fruit. No, but it's a, it's a, it's a it's a transition in the in the low hangedness of the fruit. Like the lowest hanging fruit, fucking Newton sat under a tree, an apple That's fell on true. his fucking head. Literal low hanging fruit. Yeah, <laughs> it's low hanging fruit. Dr- literally bashed him, over, <laughs> bashed him over the head with a low hanging fruit, and now he's he's made made history because of it. Like this is just it's so easy to discover something. And then, I suppose, like, one, once elements were discovered, right? Yeah. Like, once people were like, you know what? These are elements. This yeah. is a thing. It would it would have been so easy to just be like, all right, I'm going to find one. Yeah, like, you just, you'd just you be like, okay, we'll go one atomic number up or something. And like, yeah, and we'll find that one. Um, and then they did. I'm looking. I, so, How'd they count? How'd they count the atomics? The, ato- the atoms? <laughs> I have no idea, but they're uh, on their fingers with an abacus. Really big, really, really big microscope. Yeah, um, a macroscope. Oh, that probably exists. A macroscope. Wouldn't a microscope literally do the opposite? I think it's called a telescope. Point. Usually, it just makes things bigger. Yes. Uh, no, wait, but microscopes also make things bigger. The f- ma- a macroscope would make things smaller. Microscope would make it smaller. A macroscope is a type of it, it, like zooms out. <laughs> um. 
It's type, uh, yeah, a similar concept antithetical to a microscope. Yeah, this is name it a method, technique, or system by which a very large object can be observed. For example, the Earth and its contents. But isn't that just a microscope? Oh, obviously, a like, single system or instrument does not presently exist that could fulfill this function. What? I don't really understand how. Like, I guess um, the micro well, part of a microscope. Maybe they should try using some of these new elements. Oh no, no, no. okay, no, uh, this does make sense because uh, a mic a microscope, you know, the micro part is that the things it's looking at are small, and so a macroscope would be the things you're looking at are huge. So, like the Earth, or the universe. Universe. It isn't. <laughs> Universe. <laughs> um, yeah, so like that, so the idea of a macroscope doesn't really exist. We can't put the universe under something on a little glass platelet and, and, and look at it. Just um, go back a second. I've looked up the very first periodic table. Um, frustratingly, it doesn't. They're really shitty. Like, I've seen them before. Yeah, it does. Do... Some of them are just wrong. It doesn't have the. It doesn't have the it's names got a bunch on of it. holes in it. Yeah, I don't know why. I'll put this in the show notes. But yeah, there are just gaps. Which are literally, surely these gaps must be, yeah, we haven't figured it out yet. We know it exists, but we just haven't made it. Yeah, so it's just like, get like, okay, yeah, so it's also just wrong. The whole thing's wrong. Well, well, I imagine it's organised differently. They're missing all the they're missing all the bits. I'm really critiquing these, uh, you know, like 18th century. Yeah, you're really going in on uh, Dmitri Mendeleev. Like, he's fucking poor guy. Someone had to say it. Someone had to call him out for his bullshit. There's even a bromine on there. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, I'm, on, what, what I want to recognise over here, carbon... Ne- oh, he does have bromine, I'm sorry. Carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. Like, to be fair, it's a good effort. You've got the noble gases in there, you've got iron, you've got copper, you've got nickel, like... There's a lot of the fan favourites. It's a, a good, it's a, a job well done. Yeah, but those are all ones that like you could literally just go out and see. Yeah, true. God, it must have been a fucking like, field day. Like the fir- first day, you're like, all right, here's a chunk of iron. Bam, gonna write that one down. Gone, that's gone. a new element, you know. Oh, what's that in the air? Bit, a bit of oxygen. Bam, that's <laughs> that's that's going on the list. Like <laughs> bit of oxygen. Yeah, just yeah. taste it. Oh, bit of nitrogen in there. So we'll, we'll put that on the list. Put that on the table. And then, like, yeah, gradually over time, it's like, oh, guys, we, we combined fucking, we did a reaction between copper and tin. Bam, we've got a new one that we're going on the list. You know, that's not, I don't know what that was, you know, that's not how elements work. Okay, we, we fused. You just made, you just made bronze. <laughs> You're right. It's not an element. I'm confusing, yeah, that's, that's, I'm confusing <laughs> You're with metal. Of Minecraft, Harry. <laughs> um, what are they doing in those laboratories? <laughs> Well, we don't know behind closed doors, you know. They could just be making all this shit up. We'd have no idea. I want to make it clear. I do believe them. <laughs> Luke is a I'm science not denier. Luke's, Luke well, doesn't believe in chemistry. But I, w- I need. I want a chemist to come out and prove it. I understand what you're saying. By... They, they literally have on this. So, like, on again, thank you, ptable dot com. Um, <laughs> but, but like, they have like, yeah, it sorts into solids, liquids, gases, and unknown. What, fucking what, what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? Like you, you know. Granted, I think this is talking about at room temperature or at the temperature currently selected on the website. So, like, yeah. So they, they, they are so unstable they can't be at room temperature. Okay, right? but but I'm pretty sure, like we said, these are these uh, these elements exist for you know the fraction of a second during some kind of reaction. All right. Well, what's going on yeah. in that fraction of a second? What is it? Is it a is it a gas? Well, it's not room temperature at that. Okay, but okay, fine. So that specific temperature the reaction is occurring, we know. You could probably figure it out from there, right? You could probably just... Well, I mean, like, yeah, they're probably all solids, right? Like... Yeah, I mean... Because, like, I mean, look at the table. Just do the math, you know? Yeah, they'll be... Well, they'll be solid at a temperature. They'll be liquid at a temperature, and they'll be a gas at a temperature, and then... Well, yeah. I I, I think it would be pretty hard to figure out the boiling point of a <laughs> the thing that God, so, exists for half a second. Yeah, as 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 we were saying those words, I was just thinking about the chemists who might be listening to this again, and I'm just I'm so sorry. Like this must be so painful they, to listen to. They're okay. They'll they know. Although maybe maybe they'll be like they probably got pretty upset about that point where I was like, what are they even doing in those? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I'm just saying, Luke. The chemists they think they know. They think they're on it, but like you know, it's always the one percent of the one percent of chemists. Making Frankenstein. You know what is really odd? What? There's only two uh, elements that really? are... Really? Wow. <laughs> yeah, there's only two, actually. <laughs> I didn't even know. See, I thought there were only four. Um... It turns out, yeah, just hydrogen and sulfur. Uh, but no, uh, liquid, 
There's two fuck me. There's <laughs> two elements that are liquid at room temperature. Yeah, and that's it. Well, well, isn't that wild? Hang on though, because isn't it? Because mercury, yeah, what? is obviously what everyone knows. Mercury is yeah. bromine liquid at room temperature. That's what this. That's what. Are you trying to tell me? P table is lying to me. Yeah, but like they always tell you in school, it's mercury. Okay, yeah, bromine is also. Yeah, no, never mind. Mercury is the only metal. Ah, that's what it is. Yeah. Mercury is the only uh, metal liquid at room temperature, and then bromine is a, a reactive non metal. Imagine if there was a gas metal. Holy shit, that'd be so cool. Wait, they ha- they all have boiling points. Yeah, like you could. Hold on. So, what, like titanium? What, uh, titanium. Lead vapor. Yeah, titanium's boiling point is 3.2 thousand Celsius, um, which is like. It's crazy. How hot's the sun? Okay, the, the the surface of the sun is is five thousand five hundred Celsius, which to be fair, granted, the fact that's that ti- not that hot. Yeah, titanium boils at three point two, so like, granted, there's another two thousand degrees off. But, Spare. Yeah. But, but look at tantalum. Tant- tantalum has a boiling point which is almost as oh, if you're rounding almost to the nearest hundred. The the heat of the sun. Yeah, at the surface of the same sun. With, same with tungsten and rhenium. Rhenium. Well, the I mean, the core temperature of the sun is hmm, the core temperature of the sun is fifteen million degrees Celsius. <laughs> okay, well, I mean that. But, that'd be but that is still impressive. The fact that on the surface, you know, the sun is quite hot still, even at its oh, surface. Yeah. Wait, okay, so for a bunch of the like actinoids, we don't know what their boiling points are. Huh, that's um, interesting. And I wonder if that's because they're so hot. Do you... We can never know. I, think... I do, uh, that's entirely baseless. <laughs> You're just, just making um, shit up now. Just making shit Please, up. Please, <laughs> again, do not use playing favourites for your chemistry homework. We don't. We I, don't know. I, ought to, I realize after saying that that it doesn't really make sense because that implies the reason we know all the boiling points of all these things is because we just fucking stuck him in a kettle. Yeah, I mean, like, um, do you know what the uh, do you know what the highest boiling point is, Luke, on the periodic table? It's uh, five thousand five hundred fifty-five. Which metal does that belong to? Tungsten. It does. Did you know that anyway, or did you? I no. You googled I it. Looked at. I looked at it earlier, and you were uh, like, "Damn!" I remembered it. That's hot. Yeah, <laughs> I remembered it because it was very hot, and yeah. also it was all fives. So I was like, "Oh, that's kind of cute." That's interesting. Which is yeah, again, that's about as hot as the surface of the sun. Which, but again, it's, it's really hot. You're like, "Wow, okay," but I guess that's kind of expected. Yeah, so like, the sun very hot. It's currently eighteen degrees right now, and I'm boiling. Yeah. Oh man, like. 19 where I am. Whew. Um, But like, yeah, you, and you think about that and you're like, yeah, okay, wow, that is really hot, the sun's really hot. But like, this is this is metal turning into a gas. <laughs> like, that's what this temperature is. So also, shout out to P-Table. Um, yeah. Because the guy who makes it live streams on, on oh, twitch.tv. Yeah. And I did watch, like, part of a live stream of him coding, like, a new feature on ptable.com. And I'm like, man, who's who's enjoying this? Like, <laughs> you know, he didn't have any other viewers, bless him. But like, um, you know, he was he was working away coding. This like, is our shout out to P Table, man. Well, you know, usually, usually like we'll have like a base resource that we use for the episode, and yeah, this is a cool website. Like, it's P Table. It it is P Table. You, you today you, it's P Table. Today P Table. <laughs> tomorrow U Table. Who knows? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Do you think most chemists know all this shit off the top of their dome piece? Or do you think like they just look it up? That's such a really good question. They've got Google. It's, I, think, I imagine it would be like most science as well. Like you, you handle you know, something enough that you begin to memorize certain properties about it. You know, uh, If you're doing a lot of... If you're studying Hold something that involves oxygen a lot. Chemist friends. Oh my god. Call them up. Do it. Call them I'm live. I'm going to message them like, just at... I'm not going to say the name, but I'm adding them. Uh... Uh, what should I ask them? What is the boiling point of chromium? They're probably just going to Google it. Like the question mark. Don't Google it. They'll be like, okay. So get them to guess. Like See if they can guess. Off the top of the dome piece. It might. I might never receive a response. Okay. Well, we'll come back um, to that. We'll see if. We'll see if, if we. If I don't, we can just cut that whole bit. Uh, <laughs> we'll or we see. can leave it in and out them publicly. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see. I mean, okay, well, I guess we'll, we'll leave that one to Stu, um, and I guess we'll move on to 
to everyone to everyone's favorite bit, right? Is it time? Everyone's favorite bit. It's we time. can move on to everyone's favorite bit. We don't. We actually have a name for the bit where we hear from from people on Twitter. That's a good point. Because like it is. A so I just loaded up Twitter and uh, I've got in my trends is Subway selling real tuna. Yeah, I also had that the other day. And also, look, I should probably confess this to you now, um, because I did uh, accidentally get the Playing Favourites Twitter account suspended last night uh, for, <laughs> for a period of about uh, 8 to 12 hours. How the fuck did you do that? Um, well, because it asked for the date of birth, and I, and it was like, regardless of whether it's... You weren't sure if it was mine on yours. No, 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 no. Regardless, and it was like, regardless, is it a business or a brand or a person? Put in the date of birth. And I was like, ah, oh, okay, so regardless of whatever it is. So the podcast was created on, I think it was the uh, 5th of April, 2020. Pop that in, gives me the option. It's not like a minimum year or anything. Pop that in, hit uh, confirm. This is a completely optional thing. And then it goes, yeah, you're fucking banned. You're under the age of 13. <laughs> Got to be 13 to have a Twitter I, account. Yeah, I, I did it all. I was like, no. Oh, we've got a fucking recording tomorrow morning. And so then I had to, like, you know, I had to submit a picture of my passport. <laughs> Um, you know, me, the human, and then, like, that. thankfully by morning it had been uh, approved and the Twitter account was back. But yeah, it was all just, just gone for a little while, so That's if anyone good. tried to tweet in with a response during those hours, I apologise. You are a numpty. Go on, Luke. Right. What, what we got? What are the people's favourite periodic elements? Okay, we got, we got a few. Yeah. I'm gonna, from the top. Okay. Titanium. Titanium, okay. Good from Penguin. Thank you, Penguin, for writing it. Very cool. Um, yeah, to be fair, one of the coolest sounding ones. Obviously, Titan. Because, like, I mean, you know, we, we did we did do Greek gods very recently, you know. Yeah, Titan. Um, Dude, they should make Gigantium. Giga- oh, yeah, something like that. Terra, like, like, you know, like Earth. Ter- terranium. Yeah, ter- ter- Terranium. Terra. That's just <laughs> Terrarium. <laughs> ter- 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 terrarium, yeah. But t- titanium, yeah, it sounds cool. It's a slick white, you know, silvery, super strong metal. I don't know if I've ever seen titanium in real life. I don't. I think I might have. It's uh, somewhere in like chemistry. Like, or where does it come up? I don't know. I, I know that if I know it's a obviously it's a metal. I mean, sometimes you use it in like you can get like titanium rings and stuff like that. And I think titanium does make the. The short list for like if I was going to have like an- another cool ring, I would love a titanium ring. I mean, it's really strong, right? That's the, yeah, it's like um, it's it's, it's bulletproof. Is um, it from what I've heard <laughs> from your from your experiments? Mm-hmm. Can you imagine that? Just from like David Getter told me that. Oh yeah, I'm bulletproof. Nothing to lose. <laughs> by the way. I am titanium. <laughs> yeah, no, good point. Um, I'm now imagining though, like going into battle wearing like a titanium like chest plate. Or something like that. It would be incredibly I heavy. You'd fucking die. But like, can you imagine how you sick just... that would look? Just a like huge just titanium armor. Okay, um, one of my. I hold on. I've got. I received a response. Oh, from a chemist. But 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 breaking news. I I'd already googled it before your follow up message. I can say, however, that Same. my answer was like one twentieth of the actual answer. <laughs> so so what we've learned today. Off. Yeah. Chemists. Dumb. Dumb. Idiots. They don't know their own table. Well, this is for this is for the melting point of chromium. Yep. What did they? Did, I mean, did they? Did they say what their guess was? Or well, I mean, that their if their answer was one twentieth. Oh yeah. The melting point of chromium is almost two thousand degrees Celsius. So what? Oh, sorry, boiling point. Oh wait, was it for boiling so, point? Was that the question? Yeah. Okay. So they. Uh, well, the boiling point they is... would have answered about like one hundred. <laughs> yeah, the boiling point. Is two thousand six hundred for for the boiling point of chromium. A boi- a a twentieth of that is one hundred and thirty degrees. Yeah, I assume that's ex- they're exaggerating. I don't think they they got that one extremely wrong. Yeah, and now I bet all the chemists um, at home feel like they're being misrepresented. They're like, oh, why yeah, do they but... contact an idiot chemist? Hey, <laughs> he's my he's my friend. Granted, yeah, <laughs> like I'm not. You know, it, to be fair, I just take it. I can't believe you just called him an idiot chemist. I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. If they listen to this, I'm kidding. You know, it's, it takes a lot to, to understand and comprehend a lot of this stuff. If you're listening, uh, friend, who isn't listening, I know they're not. Okay. Um, I don't think you're an idiot chemist. I think you're a very good chemist. You're an idiot unrelated to that. <laughs> yeah, idiot regardless. Um, yeah. 
But uh, yeah. They're probably better than me at chemistry, yeah. I think they did study <laughs> it at university. Although, the guy who makes P-Table yeah. probably knows more about computer science than he does you know chemistry. What? I do wonder. Maybe it might have a background in both. Or, or you know, computer science is a I hobby. I assume, at least to some degree, has a background in both. But I yeah. feel like you would have to be a better computer scientist to make P-Table than you would. Maybe. Oh, he's got... This is literally just information from Wikipedia. <laughs> well, true, but to get it all right and to comprehend it all and... You know. you know, it's not like you're manually typing it all in. It's just, you know... I've also noticed he's got an, he's got an Etsy shop as well. It just sells a bunch of... You can get, like, a periodic table plastic wallet card. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Wow. Um... Like, instead of a picture of your children. <laughs> <I've> got... <laughs> you're just trying to read that. How fucking... It'd be so small. You wouldn't even be able to comprehend any of it. Because all the writing would be tiny. To be fair, though, if I was a chemist... Yeah. I probably would keep one on me, just in case. Just in case, at all times. Never know when the moment could strike. I feel like we've... Never know when someone's going to ask you what the boiling point of chromium is. Yeah, apparently so. Apparently this that's what your chemist friend needs. Your uh, chemistry correspondent. Yeah, I feel like we've strayed from titanium a little bit, but um, in summary... yeah. In summary, it's good. Titanium, good. Yeah, uh, we got a little bit distracted uh, by a chemistry correspondent there. Um, what else next. we got? Next. Yep. Copper from Dan. Thank you, Dan. Yeah, okay. Copper mm. is not cool. But hmm. Dan has also written that uh, copper is yeah. it's used for wires. Yeah, true. Antibacterial. And yeah. it lasts forever. It lasts forever. Um, and this is what I was going to say. Copper, not yeah. cool, mm. but highly practical. Yeah, I think it's it's one of those, right? Like, like you know, tin or lead. or whatever. It has its uses, as opposed to just being oh, co- yeah. standalone cool. Which, when you think about that too hard, you're like, how how are some of these metals standalone? How can any element be standalone cool? <laughs> yeah, um, they're, all, they're all very practical. But yeah, I, th- I don't think it's a... I can see the I can see the wires there of how they've, um, you know, arrived at this being their favourite because of its practical application, stuff like that. Um, well, yeah, Statue of Liberty, obviously made of copper. Um, so it would have been, you know, all yeah. orangey and then it is oxidized. I do like that copper goes blue. Well, I would say green. Green. I think it, I think it very clearly wow. goes green. Wow. Um, but yeah, I... as, as it reacts with fuck with ox. Did you oxygen. hear that? I heard like a spooky ghost noise. <laughs> it's a bird. I think it's a pigeon, Luke. I hope that I hope that the microphone's picking this up. It is a well. If you can hear it, oh, yeah, good point. <laughs> <laughs> so I just a. <laughs> it's like a pig outside. <laughs> <really loud. laughs> We're being heckled by a really loud pigeon. <laughs> I <hate> it. <laughs> what it's, been, it's been hijacked. Get it gone. Shut the window. Uh, it's. It, uh, I can't. I'll die. <laughs> I'll burn to death. Oh All right. Well, I guess we'll just uh, apologies, but we have to carry it's, on with the episode. This is going to be a pigeon in the back. The episode, now. the episode's being um, protested. Uh, the recording of this playing favorites episode by a pigeon. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> the just, pigeon's got its own response. Yeah, exactly. Quick, yeah, survey the pigeon. Um, what do you think a pigeon's favorite element would be? You know, I'm going to Google it just to see what would come up. That is great. What's a pigeon's oh, favorite man. element? Um, what do pigeons eat? Birdfeederspot.com. I just heard the pigeon fly away. Okay, it's gone. We don't. I we heard can... its wings flapping. Thank God, we can abandon this bit now and, and go back to our, to our to true love of copper. Of copper. <laughs> yeah, copper. No. I can't. I can't say it's my favorite, but um, I can see it's it's I, I respect it. I'm, I've got a lot I of respect do for copper. Like copper. Yeah, copper goes into like copper, zinc, nickel, iron. Yeah, uh, like aluminium. Yeah, uh, uh, I can't think of any others. Tin, um, Rutherfordium. No, no. S- silicon, <laughs> silicon. You said so. Silicon, yeah, yeah. It's just like um, you know, not interesting. Carbon as well. Yeah, but big up carbon. Carbon's a big one. <laughs> um, considering we're all made of it, but yeah, we're made of it. Like you know, they're just useful elements that aren't very cool. Oh, lead as well, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, okay, yeah, fair enough, copper. Um, any others, Luke? Give us one more. 
Uh, we've got. This is actually from one of my chemist friends. Oh my god! Thank okay. you, Alex. Wow. Not um, not the Tungsten. one you've done. Okay. Not no, not the one who got the question wrong. Okay. Well, maybe we um, didn't. So so tungsten. Yeah. I mean, again, we talked about it briefly. Um, highest boiling point. It's tough. It's tough stuff, ain't it? Yeah, again, you can get tungsten rings, I think, um, which yeah. is quite cool. I like the idea of like, you know, maybe I'm in a, I'm being held up by like the Sicilian mafia, and they like shoot me, but I block it with my tungsten ring, or something like that, and break your finger. <laughs> would I? Would I break my finger? The metal would absorb all the energy. <laughs> it's not vibranium. <laughs> yeah, good point. Yeah, we haven't really covered fictional metals. Maybe that's an episode for another I time. I did. I did wonder if we were gonna talk about any fictional elements. Yeah. But... Unobtainium. We'll save it. Um, we'll save it for the future, I guess. Yeah, but like tungsten rings look sick because it's very dark. They do um, look pretty cool. Very dark metal a lot of the time. Is that, is that, it's hypoallergenic as well, I guess. Right? It's, it fucking excuse me, what? Hypoallergenic. It's hypo. <laughs> what, allergenic. Am I supposed to understand what this word means? You don't know hypo. I I sorry. I just assumed you would know the word hypoallergenic. Hypoallergenic. Uh, my, I, oh, what? My fault. Fuck. I is thought it, it was he, a, he is a scientist. Thing. Luke is a scientist. He's been hiding it this no, entire time. No, I just time. know the word hypoallergenic. You can get like hypoallergenic dogs. What does it fucking mean? You keep saying it's it. Soap. <laughs> he means uh, not very likely to cause. Uh, an allergic reaction. Oh. Because, like, some some metals, like nickel yeah. and stuff, can uh, cause allergic reactions. So ah. they are... Like, that's one of the reasons why gold is good for wedding rings. Gold! Um, gold! Gold nuggets. Like gold, because, yeah, gold, gold doesn't react with anything. Yeah. Um, so you, you're not going to have an allergic reaction. Um, but, like, uh, nickel and cobalt... Chromium, oh no, and zinc, uh, are yeah because yeah they the, they can cause. Well, I guess you, you see some of them like like zinc is in sun sun creams, I think. Like you know, Ooh, yeah. So like I guess they they have applications where you where you could encounter them. Don't know about cobalt, but like, uh, <laughs> yeah, I yeah. don't think that one comes up very often. Yeah, I suppose you could potentially encounter it. Um. Well, yeah, tungsten, hypoallergenic. So you can wear it if you have allergies. <laughs> so, you know, that's that's nice. Glad that those guys maybe, get some maybe representation. Maybe a tungsten ring. Yeah, there you go. No, that that's quite cool. I, I like I like that. I like the look of it, and I like that it's tough. However, it does have mm. a what I would call a bad name and a bad symbol. Um, it, it has a bad. N- I like the name. I tungsten. like tungsten. Um, mm. but I do think. It doesn't combo well with the symbol. W. <laughs> w. Like, what is going on here? What What, what are we doing? What, what are we playing at? I mean, well, okay, let's find out. Why is tungsten's? Why is tungsten W? There you go. Um, tungsten. Uh, but I'm on. Sorry, I'm on simple English Wikipedia. Luke, I beat you to it. Tungsten, yeah. sometimes named Wolfram. That's way cool. Yeah. Wow. What? Can you imagine if it's called Wolfram? That's so much cooler. I'm now angry at tungsten. I do wish it was called Wolfram. Yeah. Oh, so it's not Wolfram. I Wolfram. Need, I need to correct you. Wolfram. It's Wolfram. No, it says Wolfram. It's not like two words. It's not, <laughs> it's not Wolfram. This is two animals. <laughs> no, yeah, like, I, but... Okay, fine, Wolfram. Wol- Wolfram, if you if you go in on the, on the A, I think it sounds cooler. Man, these simple English Wikipedia pages are, are really helpful for metals. Like, it's just got lots of little mm. little facts. Tungsten's density is almost the same as gold. Gold-plated tungsten ingots have been fraudulently passed off as solid gold. That's quite interesting. Like, there's just lots of sense. interesting little little nuggets, if you'll... Um, um. Tungsten's density and hardness have many uses in the military. For example, tungsten has been used in armor-piercing artillery. Oh no, against my titanium chest plate. <laughs> no. Imagine that. It's like, Luke, we're in combat. I've got my titanium chest plate on. You shoot me with a bullet and, and I laugh. <laughs> and then look and down. And you're, you're already bleeding out. <laughs> yeah. Ah, no. Fall to the ground. It's a tungsten bullet. Shit, that's cool. I mean, it is like silver bullets, right? Yeah, I mean, silver bullets is a, this werewolf. a werewolf. Yeah. What if I had tungsten coated silver bullets? <laughs> no, it's a, it's a it's a silver coated tungsten bullet, and you know, oh, shit, in, yeah, that makes way more sense. What it is is I'm also a werewolf wearing this titanium <laughs> chest plate, and I laugh <laughs> with your t- t- your tungsten bullet 
And I look down and I'm bleeding. No. Silver plated tungsten, my only weakness. Playing favourites, man. Also a werewolf. Um, <laughs> Playing favourites, man, enters the room with a tungsten coated, a uh, silver coated tungsten bullet. Yeah, exactly. And gun. And, <laughs> stage left. Um, <laughs> this is for the, the playing favourites musical. Um, anyway, 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 Luke, anyway, I think it's time. I think it's time yeah, yeah. Nice. for another unnamed bit, another unnamed segment we have. The favourites. The, the favourites round. The end of the show where we stop pussyfooting around and we and we, yeah. we say our favourites. Do you, do you know yours? How confident in your answer are you? I know mine for certain and yeah. it cannot go first. Okay, that's okay. Because there's going to be... Outrage! Oh shit! Okay, that's huge. Because I, 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 I like. I thought about it. I was surprised because like, you, you decided on this for the episode. I know yours. Do you? Mm-hmm. I don't know if you do. I do. Okay, we'll see. Well, because you decided on it, and I thought about it for a little bit, uh, ran through some potential options, and then landed on this one and was firm in this one. Ironically mm-hmm. enough, T. Um, it's it's Indium. You're saying Indium. Is yeah. my favourite. You're wrong. Mm-hmm. What? It was considered. It was considered, and we haven't spoken about it. it... You even made that joke about it being firm. About being firm. So that's a double, a double bait and switch. Wow, that is you, f- fucking bastard. Yeah, but you'll see why that still works, Luke. Because yeah, Indian for those of you who don't know is a me- is a metal, which is yeah, it made the shortlist. It was one of the ones that considered. Um, it's it's soft enough. If you warm it up a little bit at room temperature, it's soft, soft enough that you can bite into it and and bite a chunk of it off. And chew Pretty it. Sure, it's poisonous. Though. It is also poisonous, so don't swallow it, and maybe wash your mouth afterwards. But um, maybe don't chew it either. Yeah, but, but you could. Yeah, yeah, and like, I don't know, yeah. Um, so there's a cool little fact about it. I don't really know if it has many other uses. It's, it's visually kind of boring. It is just a silver. It's know. just metal. Yeah, um, but it's very, it's it's very cool. Okay, what is it then? What's your actual favorite? <sighs> well, it's funny because the yeah the the firm the joke about it being a firm choice. I'm so. Do you have I'm a second so guess based off of that? Is it Mercury? Yeah, my favorite f- uh, periodic no, element is Mercury. Yeah, HG for some reason on the periodic table. Harry just loves fucking weird states. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like if we ever did favorite United State, your answer would be fucking Maryland. <laughs> Don't how dare you? Um, yeah, no, but but yeah, it's got, it's got the nickname of Quicksilver. It's you know um, a, li- cool. a liquid at room temperature, a liquid metal. How fucking cool is that? Yeah, it's that it's cool. very poisonous, um, which is quite cool. Highly like, toxic. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up that it's so poisonous, and like we put it in thermometers. Yeah, Mercury famously Morris. fragile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, named after. Um, I mean the yeah the Roman god of yeah the messengers and things like that. Were you ever terrified that you were gonna break a thermometer and just like die? <laughs> no, absolutely not. I was. Do they still put you mercury told, in thermometers? You get, uh, probably not. They probably haven't reality. done that since like the sixties. But you get told because it's the same with pencils. You get told like oh don't you know it, it's got terrible poison in it so you know be careful and it's like okay this is ridiculous. I'm terrified now. I'm terrified of this mundane object. This is yeah. I I I can't say that this was ever a worry okay. I had. But, maybe, um, maybe that's just me then. Maybe you have to people email in if you had a fear of um of mercury as a child. Um, but yeah, I can see it's it's symbol. The HG symbol uh, comes from its Latinized Greek name of hydrogerium. Hydrogerium, mm-hmm. meaning watery or liquid Hydrogen. silver. Yeah, hydro John. He invented it. <laughs> he's <laughs> he, back. He's he's made a return to bring us a small vial of mercury. Um, and like, it's, it's a, oh man, there's so much like mystery around it. No one has the credit for finding mercury. It was known in ancient times. I love how I love how simple Wikipedia is written. Uh, mercury is found in Egyptian tombs that are from 2000 BC. God. Um, yeah, apparently it has medical uses. Uh, it's sometimes used in um, in cosmetics. Thermometers. Um, oh. Yeah, thermometers. As you're a big fan of um, electronics. Yeah. Um, yeah. That, there you go. I don't have much else to say about mercury, but. Um, it is cool. It, I do like it. It's very cool. Yeah, big, big fan. Honestly, ninety percent of it comes from it being called Quicksilver, though. That is a big. That is doing a lot. But then it, the fact it's liquid, it's, you can pour it, and it's all reflective. And I mean, know. that's why it's called Quicksilver, right? Yeah, because it's quick, moves around, scampers, it's quick and nimble, and silver, to be. but not the metal, it's... the color. Um, I'm worried about your one, Luke. You've said that it's, it's what you're gonna be. You're gonna be mad. I know you're gonna be upset. Man, really? 
Yeah, you're going to be genuinely upset. I, in that case, I have no idea what it could be. That implies, then, I bet it's a, I bet it's a practical one. I bet, is it... No. No, no it isn't. Okay. Maybe it's the other end, then. It's like a crazy reactive <laughs> one. No, no. All right, Luke, what is it? That's, uh, <laughs> What's your favorite periodic element? I'm really sorry to do this. What? Oh, my God. Because I know you're going to be mad. <laughs> I've spotted it. Luke, <laughs> it's, your, it's your favorite periodic element, bismuth. Yeah. You piece of shit, no. <laughs> you can't do this. That was your favorite gemstone. We had this discussion. <laughs> Oh, Sorry, you're just, you're so I, fucking right. I like I'm pissed bismuth. off. This I'm is bismuth. it. I like bismuth. Yeah, but we already we discussed this. We did this. I know. Ah, but oh it is a my god. Element. Granted, one. yeah, it is, and it fits the continuity of playing favorites, I suppose. Of uh, yeah, mm. if you do like bismuth, the fact that it's a periodic favorite periodic element as well. I mean, it's it's a hu- it's a milestone in playing favorites history. The first double occurrence. <laughs> the, the, the same favorite twice. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, what do we do now? Do I ask you why you like bismuth? I mean, you could. I mean, uh, what, it's, it's all like um, this pyramid-y. is why I said I had to do mine next. Oh I yeah, no, it all it all makes sense now. There's no coming back. It all makes sense. Um, well, let's, I, let's see if I can remember. It's got the chemical symbol bi, which I know you enjoy. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. It's it's all pyramidy and and like it makes yeah, weird it shapes. Cool. It's yeah, rain- yeah, kind of rainbowy and reflective. Bismuth crystals look very cool. Yeah, but we don't care about crystals. It's an periodic element, not well, no, fucking gemstone. That is, a, that is a. That is a. That is a look what you've done. An element. Look at what you've done. I know. I'm sorry. I I didn't do it on purpose. <laughs> So you did say I, I realised. Yeah. And I was like, well, yeah, that's my favourite. Do, do you know and any uses of bismuth? Was, uh, I'm looking now. It's a lead replacement, apparently. Wow. Um. Uh, it's got medical uses, apparently. You can use it as a yellow pigment. Wow. Safety. Bismuth is less, much less toxic than other metals. It's used in some medicines such as Pepto Bismol. I'm mad. We're ending the episode on a bad note. On a da- we've got I'm the sorry. bad ending of playing favourites today. Everyone. I didn't mean to. Well, okay, it wasn't then. on purpose. It wasn't until after I'd suggested the episode as well, the, and I didn't want to go like, "Oh, actually, Harry." Yeah, that you realise the error of your ways. I mean, we didn't even do the Jimson's episode. Lied. Yeah, well, I wouldn't want you to do that, Luke. I'm glad that you've you've been right. honest. Um, we did. It was. It, it's been, not been so long since we did Gemstones. There's only what it's six not. episodes ago. Um, but I'm glad you're honest. And if that is your favourite, it is a good... It looks cool, you know. Etc. Okay, well, alright, everyone. That's the end of episode 27 of Playing Favourites. Can I tell my chemistry joke now? Yes, just fine. Just get out of the way now. Oh, wait, no, we do it after the outro, don't we? Yeah. Do your thing first. Alright, fine. Look, Luke, um... Look, I'm, I'm gonna. Look, okay, we're, so we're, we're, I'm isolating that segment. Okay, yeah. Look, okay. Now, yeah, now yeah, we're back. From the, yeah, and now, and now we're. We're beat. We're, we're coming to the end of the episode. Yeah, I hope I hope that people have enjoyed um, today's episode of Playing Favorites. Listen to us talk about periodic elements, um, lots of lots of crazy stuff, lots of weird trivia and, and things like that. I hope it's been a um, a good one. If you want to get in contact, we're on Twitter again after last night um, <laughs> after the suspension, the incident at Play Favorites. Favorites has a U in it, obviously. F A V O U R I T S. You can tweet in, and we tweet out every time we're doing an episode, um, letting you know the topic. So you can tweet in with your favorite, and you might get featured on the show. You can also email in playingfavoritespodcast at gmail.com with whatever you like, whether that's episode suggestions, your favorite periodic element. Maybe email in with like a picture of you holding a piece of bismuth or something. I don't know. Just pick something and, and get in contact. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah. That'd be great. So that's it. That's everything. We're done. Nice. And that's it. That's it. And now the episode's done. Goodbye, everyone. All right, bye. No, go on, Luke. What's your joke? I, uh, no, I stopped recording. You're kidding. Um, what? I am kidding. Oh, oh thank God. God. All right. <laughs> Luke, I can't, my All heart right. can't take any more. Harry? Yeah? Why do they call helium, curium, and barium the medical elements? I don't know. Because if you can't helium, and you can't curium, you barium. <laughs>